Hello everyone. In this lesson, I will show you the various variable naming conventions in R. So by the end of this lesson, you will learn the different ways to name your variables in R. There are three general ways to name your variables in R. The first one is the snake casing method. Here, if you are naming a variable with multiple words, you would have to separate each word with an underscore. The second one is the camel casing method. Here, the first word are all in lowercase letters, but the first letter of all subsequent words should be in uppercase. The third one is the Pascal casing method. Here, the first letter of every word should be in uppercase. So let's go into R and demonstrate how these naming conventions work. Now, in R, I would like to create an object of the character data type and save it into a variable called best stats language. For this best stats language, we have three words. We have best, we have stats, and we have language, all put together as a variable name for this character data type object. Whenever you are naming a variable, R allows that flexibility to name it however you deem fit. There are some rules that we we'll observe by the end of this lesson. So this variable is actually correct. If I go ahead and highlight this code and execute, you would realize that in the environment window, it appears there as best stats language and then the object which you assigned. But one of the difficult aspects of having multiple words or in lower cases that it makes it difficult for anybody to figure out which word comes first, second, and third, the person would have to stress enough in order to identify what you mean by naming your variable as such. So you will need to adopt one of the variable naming conventions to make it easy for the person to clearly distinguish each word as soon as they take a glance at your variable name. So let us go ahead and look at the various naming conventions. So the first one we mentioned was the snake casing method, where you would have to separate each word by an underscore. So for example, this best stats language, you would like to name it as best underscore stats underscore language, and then you can go ahead and save your value in there. So when you go ahead and run this code, then you can execute this line of code. So, you know, there are ways of executing code. For example, I could have come to the next line and just simply type best stats language. One thing that RStudio does for us is it would actually display an intelligence of all the variables that you might have created in R. And so you can go ahead and click on, for example, the first one here to autocomplete, and you can execute to get the result, which is R programming. So if you wanted to also execute only the variable name in order to print out the value that is stored in there, you could have on the same line also highlight that part of the variable name and execute by clicking on the run button here to execute or press control enter on your keyboard to execute. The second method is the camel casing method. Now with the camel casing method, the first word are all in lower case, then the first letter of all subsequent words would be in upper case. So in that case, I would say capital S, then T A T S, then language L is capitalized, then I would have something like this. And I would just go ahead and store my value in there. So if I execute this, this is the camel casing. And if I go ahead and run this, then we'll get the value returned. So at a glance, you will be able to distinguish between the words very easily, unlike the first one where everything is all in lowercase, even though you can still name it according to your own preference, but you would have to follow some of these naming conventions, or you'd find many programmers out there following some of these naming conventions in order to have some sort of uniformity in how we write code in R. The third one is the Pascal casing method. Now with the Pascal casing method, the first letter of every word is capitalized. So in that case, best stats language, I would write it as best stats language. The first letter of every word is capitalized and I will go ahead and assign my value to it and then go ahead and execute. So if I run this, we also get the output returned. So these are the three naming conventions in R and you can use any one of them as you see fit if you have especially multiple words in your variable name. 
Now, let us look at some of the rules that you need to observe whenever you are naming your variables in R. Variable names cannot start with a number. That will actually throw an error. For example, if you name your variable as four, and then you say number, and then you want to save the value of 56 in there, you will simply get an error. So you cannot name your variable starting with any number. Again, variable names cannot contain special characters like the percentage symbol, ampersand, all of these special characters that you can see, except an underscore, which we have used in one of the naming conventions like the snake casing method, and also the period. However, there is something about this period if you use it for variable names. If you use the period before a variable name, it will be assigned, but it will not appear in the environment, so avoid it. Another rule is that variable names cannot contain spaces, so you cannot put spaces between words in your variable name in R. Then you should not use reserve keywords in R to name your variables. We have demonstrated what these reserve keywords are. If you want to know the reserve keywords in R, you can type help and then pass into this help function reserved and execute. And then in the help tab, you can find that we have the reserve words in R, which include if, else, repeat, while function, and many other reserve keywords that are here. So avoid using reserve keywords in naming your variables. Do not use names of functions to name your variables as well. So there are several functions in R which can perform many things like the mean to calculate the average of a number of values, the sum to sum up some numbers, the var for calculating the variance of a set of numbers. Do not use function names to name your variables. So you need to remember that R allows a great deal of flexibility in how you can name your variables, but it is very important to choose clear descriptive names for your variables in order to make your code very easy to understand.